got an iPhone 13 Pro Max here with an interesting problem that I hope I can show you. So hopefully you can see that. I wish there was a better angle. A little light here when I hit the power button. So we're getting a very dim backlight. But the thing is, this is not in recovery mode. Or DFU mode, I should say. Because, as you can hear, when I plug it in, it is actually charging. And of course, I don't know, you probably saw there's a little light flashing up here. So what we've got is somewhat a backlight, as far as I can tell, and no image. Um, this has already been opened up, as you can see. So we're going to check right here where the display connector plugs in and see if we can figure out why we're not getting an image on the screen. Okay, I've got my multimeter in diode mode. I'm going to put my red probe right up here where the SIM card holder is. And I'm going to go along the bottom here. What we should have on the right hand side will be ground. And over here on the left hand side, we should have about 5, yeah, 522, uh, 0 0.522. And I'm just going to start here from the right on the bottom row. And we'll go across here and we'll see what we have 452, 583. These are pretty close. 584. 320, 320, 525, I should be saying 0.312, but I'm just being lazy, so 569, 513, we've got an open line here, which is correct, we've got an open line here, which is also correct, but we have another open line here, which should not be the case. We should have a value of about 0.279 and we've got an open line here. So that is number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the 12th one from the right here has an open line and that is probably going to be at least part of if not all of the reason that we are not seeing an image. So what I want to do is uh, get this foam tape off here because there is a filter that we can test and make sure it's not the filter itself. It rarely is, but if we get lucky, uh, it would be nice to not have to tear this whole thing apart and simply be able to replace a filter here. But let's see if we can get to that. And I think we've got some, uh, some coating on here that needs to come off. So I'm gonna go in here with a very small amount of heat. I usually put my hotter station on 170 Celsius don't spend too much time here. Let's see if we can locate the one we're looking for. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We should be right here. And that should be our filter. So we'll check and make sure that connects to the right pin. And put this in continuity mode. So when I touch, uh, what was it, pin number 12, I think. So we had three open lines in a row. I want to say it's number 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 here we got OL, and then the two right next to it were also OL. So this one right here should have continuity to here. And it does. You can see I'm back in diode mode. That's fine. And I test on this side of the filter. And maybe, maybe my lucky day. I think we just have a bad filter. I can't get both my probes in there, but um, let's see. If we go, I'll just put my probe on ground again, my red probe on ground. And on this side of the filter, we have 2.277. On this side we have OL, so we have a bad filter here that is most likely the reason that we have no image on the screen. So fortunately, we got very lucky today. Now I'd like to be able to do this without taking the motherboard out of the housing, and I think that's possible. We just have to be careful with where the heat goes. Um, the battery getting too hot would be our main concern. 
I am going to start by making a little room in here so we have some space to work with because getting a I do want to get a soldering iron tip down in here just to get some fresh solder onto the surface. That's a lot of flux. All right, that ought to do the trick. All right, I'm gonna go pull a filter off a donor because I do not know what the exact value of this is. So just to be safe, we'll use one from another 13 Pro Max. one of these so I don't want to lose it all right there you go right there get off my tweezers now didn't want to let go okay so now this uh, solder should melt a little easier because it is leaded get this into the right position and that should be just about ready to go. Too much flux and you'll get this. It's going to want to stick to the adjacent components, but once we warm it up, that should thin out a bit. Right, I think we are on. All right, so we should have a value over on pin number 12. So let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we've got 0.218, even though the board's still kind of warm. That'll probably increase a little bit, but I think we are ready 
to get this board back in the housing and see if we have an image. Okay, with any luck, we should have an image. Just go ahead and plug it in the way it's sitting right now. And we have an apple. I may have someone's information on here, I'm not sure. So I need to cover this up just for a second. In case we have any pictures on the screen. And we don't, okay. So we have an image. Do we have touch? It's a little, a little tricky with uh, rubber gloves on, but it looks like the touch is working, image is working, and that is it. We'll get all the screws back in, get this put together, and back to the customer.